M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. So if you want to select Airband on your Geek Nest V5A receiver, I'm going to show you how. So I'm already there, but look, see the, the black encoder knob? Press down until you see the word menu here, okay? Pressing it down, and it says menu. Let's tune in a bit closer. When you're in menu, turn the black knob until you get to and so that it highlights where it says air okay you want it to highlight air and if yours doesn't say air you can press the up and down button here and it obviously it's changing now to usb and the other selections are fm am but we don't use am we use air Keep going. Oh, went past it then. Air. And you'll see that it sort of automatically selects the next one along. But let's just go to that. So remember, we're still in menu mode. Flick to the right. It says VHF. And we actually have the choice here where if you want to, you can select all or VHF. And we're just going to leave it on VHF. Actually, I'll put it on all. I don't think it makes any difference. You have got noise reduction, which you can turn on. There, if you want to try and get rid of some of that background noise. And as you go across AGC, not sure if I've ever used that. You can turn the amp on as well, up and down with the yellow and blue, or the middle and the bottom button. You can turn that off if you want. Might be a bit quieter. The other one is, you've got this choice of, it says here, analog or digital. Yeah? So, Mine's in analog at the moment, okay? You can try digital. I don't see that it's made a big difference, but maybe it will in a different setting. So that's it, really. So once you've done that, now it's about tuning. So what we're going to do is press the big black knob again. Okay? Press it down. And again, until it says frequency. Now, in frequency mode, you can now change the step of frequency adjustment. So we're going to go back to our encoder. And... At the moment, it's just changing by 10 kilohertz. It's actually denoted here. If we press the red button, the top button, it changes the amount. So I'm going to put that to 1,000 kilohertz and get it to 133 on mine. Then I want to just change this part. So we press the red button, and that's a bit small. So we're going to go to 100 kilohertz. Just change that to 8. Then I want to move it back down to 50, I'll do, I think. I want 850. Then I need to go to 1 kilohertz because we want it to be 0. And that's it. You know, that's the frequency that I've been monitoring. And it did just come through just now. To do the volume, keep pressing down again. Turn up the volume if you want. And it, if you want it to be more noisy, you can turn off the noise re reduction. If you want to save a channel, you just hold down the blue button. We might have to be in channel mode to do that, though. So let's try it. Oh, yeah, I just got myself. No, it did actually go to a different channel. So I've lost my channel already. But, uh, oh, I don't want any music. But anyway, to save a channel, try lose this completely. Let's turn it down. You just hold down the bottom, the blue button, and it saves the channel. And channel mode is there. Look, you can scroll through the channels there. That's it. And when you're in frequency mode, you can save a channel. But you also can have seek, what they call seek mode, um, that you're only going to see when you're in FM. So let's just do that. Let's go. Let's turn. Let's go back to menu mode. Menu. See the way it says LSB. Change that until it says FM. Okay, and then let's push down until we see the seek. There it is there, and when we turn, it will just keep tuning until it finds something. And you can actually save channels when it finds them by holding down the blue button. I don't think it works in airband mode. So let's go back to menu. Uh, it's, it's a shame though, really, isn't it? Let's go to air. Oh, I'm jumping past it. Menu. And then we'll go to air. 
I think it does it in, air, in AM mode. Don't know where we'll get there. Air, and let's do this, try and get seek. Pressing down, yeah, you don't get seek in air, but if we go to, back to menu, then change that to AM. Going up and down with the yellow and the blue. And now try and press seek. Yes, it does. See, and that way, I'm guessing if you you can scan AM bands, means you can scan air band. I will try that out. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.